Hey guys, I'm back, it's me! Um, I know I haven't done a video in ages, but I guess I um, decided to kind of go on a break while I was um, just chilling out and um, yeah, after all those fertility um, medications and all that stuff that I was going through so once I kind of stopped that I just thought I'm just gonna relax and chill out and that's why I haven't done any videos for ages so I'm sorry if you guys missed me but I missed you too but yeah so since I've done my last video um, I um, I think I told you guys that I was taking the birth control pills to try and get rid of my cysts but um, I felt totally crap and wrong about taking the birth control pill because I believe that's what screwed up my cycles in the first place and also it's like the worst thing for PCOS so um, yeah so I stopped taking the pill about five days after I started so and then after that I um, started natural progesterone cream just to try and naturally suppress the cysts and all that so I did that for a few weeks and then I decided to start seeing a homeopath and a naturopath as well so this um, this lady that I was seeing she's also an iridologist so um, so she like looks at your iris and she can work out what's going on in your body from your eyes which is really cool and um, so she gave me some um, some liquid herbs that tasted absolutely disgusting and also some a homeopathic remedy drops that I had to take um, four times a day and then the herbs just once in the morning so since stopping the pill I had only had one really long cycle and so when I got to about day 64 of my cycle I just randomly out of the blue ovulated so I was totally unprepared but um, yeah like I could kind of I knew at the time because um, I had like the cervical fluid which was watery and and I could also feel cramping like um, how the same as how I felt the last times when I was on drugs to make me ovulate so I knew when I was ovulating then and this one felt the same so I thought hmm maybe I'm ovulating but I didn't want to get my hopes up too much so um anyway so I I kept it um charting and stuff smoky so yeah I kept on charting and so I could see three days after I thought I ovulated I had it confirmed my ovulation and my temperatures stayed high for a long time after that and right to this day which is 21 days past ovulation my temperature is still high and I have several positive pregnancy tests so I'm pregnant finally it's taken 20 months for me to get pregnant so I cannot believe it I still can't believe it and I <laughs> the first time I took the test I couldn't believe it but yeah it's kind of slowly sinking in that it's actually real and yeah I'm totally happy and just relieved that this whole thing is over and yeah I just can't believe it at all so um yeah I found out like I did the first pregnancy test when I was we were away in Melbourne um, visiting my parents and I gave in to um, doing a pregnancy test when I was about 13 days past ovulation so that's when I found out and I got the first positive 
I actually did a test on nine days past ovulation, but of course it was negative because it was too early. So 13 days past ovulation and I got a positive and yeah, we were just ecstatic, me and my husband. So, and then the next day I did another pregnancy test and the line was darker. So yeah. <coughs> um, so we've told my parents and my husband's parents and um, just a few other people so but it's still early days and I don't want to tell everyone yet just in case anything happens but I know it won't so we're better. So yeah um, 